Hello good aficionados and enthusiasts. Today we're looking at a Smith & Wesson model 67. It's a K38 Combat Masterpiece Stainless Steel Revolver. This is the model 67. It's a stainless steel revolver. Six shot. This is a no dash model 67. What distinguishes the no dash from the others is that it has the stainless steel sights. Now, normally that would not be there. I painted that with the uh, glow orange paint. And it's got the ramp sight. Where about those are magnet grips. I'm gonna put some snap caps in here. These are zoom snap caps. Since it has the firing pin on the hammer, it's not a good idea to dry fire these. Unless you have some snap caps in there first. Very smooth action. Stages very nicely. Right there. Three clicks. Three clicks. One, two, three. Super light single action. No creep, it just goes. The Model 67 is the stainless steel version of the Model 15, which was a very popular police gun back in the day. And this as well was a very popular police gun. The Smith & Wesson Model 15 Combat Masterpiece was in common use with the police and private security officers from the 50s to the 80s. The 4-inch barrel was manufactured throughout its production history from 1949 to 1999. The Model 15 and later the stainless Model 67 was issued to officers of the LAPD for many years. It was at the same time a standard issue to pilots in the United States Air Force as well as the Air Force Security Police. It was discontinued in 1999, but a stainless version, Smith & Wesson Model 67, is still in production. Chambered in 38 Special, it does not fire the 357 Magnum cartridges. This gun is also the ancestor of the Smith & Wesson Model 19 Combat Magnum. The Smith & Wesson Model 67 Combat Masterpiece Revolver is a K-frame revolver chambered for 38 it's Special. It's just a good looking gun. I think the Model 15, the Model 67, the Model 19, and the Model 66 are some of the finest looking revolvers you can, you can ever get. I think they look nicer than the Colts even. It's got the serrated trigger. Notice it still has the trigger stop in place. A lot of times people will remove that. It makes the gun more valuable when it has that. When I got this gun, it had Packmire grips on there. I, I put these nice Magnus stocks on there. Got them on eBay. Mint condition. It's really hard to find stocks that look this good. But if you look hard enough, you can find them. So there it is. That's just a beautiful, perfect looking gun. It's just so well proportioned. It's got the uh, it's got the tapered barrel. They made these in a bull barrel, just like they made the Model 10 in a bull barrel. But this was the first issue. Of the, this is a no dash. A no dash. These are sought after. It's got the regular. I think that's called a combat hammer. There's actually three sizes. The, the narrow hammer, the combat hammer, which that's what this is, and then the target hammer. This is the standard trigger. There's also three sizes of the trigger, standard, combat, and target. It's 
square, but it's got it's got serrations on the back strap, serrations on the front strap. off tight lock up super tight stages very nicely okay, let me stage it when you're shooting double action you can stage your shots like this Very smooth action. You know, I think these uh, these police revolvers have got the best action. I think Smith and Wesson tuned them special for the police. I think if anybody knows anything about that, you can leave a comment. It's just so nice, so classic looking, you know. It's really, really nice. I, like, I love this gun. See the forcing cone, how nice and clean it is. Just take some work to get that nice and clean like that. There you go, the snap caps. All, all over the place. It's got a nice little trick I'd put your thumb down here, you can you can see the, uh, the rifling. Model 67, no dash. Just a beautiful gun. So there you have it, the Smith & Wesson model 67 no dash. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of your guns, they'll take care of you. Like and subscribe.